Poppy Playtime, a relatively new game that took mascot horror to a whole new level. It gained massive popularity and has become one of the biggest mascot horror games out right now. But how do I really feel about it? That's what I'm going to talk about today. So hello everyone, welcome back to another My Opinion On video. This is a series where I go through and talk about my opinion on certain games. There will be three categories in total, which are gameplay, story, and fanbase. Today's game will be Poppy's Playtime, so let's go ahead and get started. Here we go. The Poppy Playtime franchise current has two chapters with a third one releasing early 2024. There's also Project Playtime, which is a completely separate game, but I might make that on its own video, I'm not gonna lie. So when talking about like gameplay, Poppy Playtime has this super unique mechanic with something called the like, grab packs. These kinda act like Spider-Man like web shooters kinda. And I'm not even joking when I say that, like you can literally swing and grab yourself everywhere, it's kinda amazing. But what I found fascinating is like the electrical puzzles that you can do with them. I found this mechanic so cool. It was such like a good idea, and it's like the type of puzzles that are like fun and not like super frustrating or like annoying. The game also has this like really cool thing where it doesn't put you through like a cutscene every time a new monster or whatever like shows up. It just like lets you do whatever while they're there, which I also just like love. I always love when games do that. This game also does its chases really well. I find myself really stressed out trying to get away. Like this one in chapter 1 was claustrophobic and it was really cool seeing Huggy Wuggy like crawl around behind us. But this chapter 2 was even better. There was so much to look at. There was so much going on. It was such an incredible experience. Chapter 2 was definitely an improvement from the first so I can't wait for chapter 3. It looks like these are always getting better and better especially based on this trailer. So for the rating out of 10, I'm honestly gonna have to give it like a 9 out of 10. I can always actually come back to this and just play these even though I know what's gonna happen. It's actually just like genuinely fun. Alright, so at the end of the day, this is another mascot horror, and they honestly all kind of have similar stories. It always involves children being killed, I mean unalived, and their souls go into the costumes or whatever at the end of the day. It's always the same. Poppy Playtime is a little bit different. Basically, like the whole factory is like a daycare slash home for like orphans. They test their knowledge by doing these little games to see which mascot they'll be like possessing or something like that. There's obviously more to it, but I don't want to make this video that long, and I actually don't know too much of it, but yeah. But I will say, I love the characters in Poppy Playtime. I think having them all being toys is like such a cool concept, and they absolutely nailed the design for them. They all have like their individual lore and why they're like crazy kinda and of course it's explained in VHS form which is yet again so cool to see. So for a rating out of 10, I'm honestly going to give it like an 8 out of 10. I like the characters, I like the story, I like the teasers, but it's just too similar to a lot of other mascot horrors to be honest. Now this is where my rating drops a lot, unfortunately. Look, I'm gonna have to be honest, I really do like everything about this game, gameplay is fun, story is great, characters and all that is amazing, but the fan base for this game, oh my god. It's not good. It's yet again, basically all children, which isn't a bad thing, like that's fine. But man, there's a crazy amount of like cringe content for this game. I tried watching some of this because I thought it couldn't be that bad, right? Oh my god, what am I watching, dude? What the f- Yeah, it, it was- it was bad. It was really bad. I mean, yeah, FNAF has the same kind of videos, but there's like so much other stuff that isn't cringe, so it gets kind of like left in the dust, kind of. It's kind of like Garden of Bandmate 2, where like content creators just add a bunch of mods to it, and they over-exaggerate everything that's going on, when it's like literally not even that exciting. And it's not even just the community, like the creators aren't the best, and they made some questionable decisions in the past too. But now for a rating out of 10, I'd probably have to give it like a 3 out of 10, dude. There's a lot of cringe, and not too much good content around that, to be honest. So my final overall rating for the game series Poppy Playtime is a 7 out of 10. The gameplay and story is fantastic but the fan base just brings it down for me a lot. 7 out of 10 isn't bad, I still find the game fun and replayable for sure. So yeah, that's my opinion on Poppy Playtime, but let me know what you guys think. Is Poppy Playtime overrated, underrated, and what would you guys rate it? Let me know in the comments below. So thank you guys so much for watching, and make sure to subscribe for more of these videos. Bye.